Welcome back, everybody. And if you're just joining our show, today we're talking about confronting your neighborhood bully. You just met two families who are at odds with one another, all because one of the little boys says that he's being bullied by the other one. Oh, Will and Aiden over there. We haven't quite gotten down to it, but it seems the two mothers have a big problem, too. We're going to come back to your story. We're going to deal with some teenagers now. Joining us is 14-year-old Julie from Canton, Ohio, who says that her bully has fought her three times, tried to stab her with a stick and constantly tries to blame her for things she has not done. She says her bully has even gone after her 11-year-old brother. Now, Renee says that's just not true. She claims that Julie is the one causing all the trouble. Julie, talk to me. What's going on here? She just won't leave me alone. I fought her three times. Back up. First the boss two times. Like no, we fought, here, we fought we fought twice in one trying. day. We fought twice in one day. Okay. Then we fought your again. Your mother jumped on me cuz I started kicking She said your butt. that she said that um my mom and my sister both jumped her. Nobody what jumped on her. Man, everybody in the neighborhood seen it. You jumped me when I was walking out of my Sam's house for no reason cuz you was talking to my mama mama white bitch. You call my mama white bitch. I don't care. She don't talk to you. Don't call me no nigger. Okay. All right. Hold on. Listen, y'all. Listen. I'm going to call her. Let's make a deal. Let's make Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What y'all do out there? Listen to me. What y'all do out there when you go after each other, that, that's, that's your business, which is now our business, but we can't have cussing on television, okay? Because my business is to take care of folks' homes, all right? Don't let me have to go there. But, but keep going, you know, please. But I do want to hear what you're saying. Which one of you feels bullied? Which one of you feels like you're the victim? You both do. So now you're both pointing at each other saying you're each the bully. Julie, let's hear your side of the story. Why do you think this is happening? What's going on here? Because she... She lies on me. She tries to have people jump on me. She tries to fight with me. She tries to go after my brother. My brother's 11 years old. She is 14. Renee, Her what's your son? Okay. First of all, you're not 14. You're 13. So she's no, not I'm not. I'm 14. <laughs> okay. My birthday okay. is October 21st, okay, well, 1982. Okay, Y'all fight you over said, everything, it sounds said, like. I try. Okay. He can't even tell her age without starting a fight. What's, you okay, tell well, your side okay, now. Okay, well, she says that I tried to draw her brother. We were swimming. I took my friend's little girls. He's punching on a little three-year-old. I said, Adam, get your hands off. Adam wants to be bragging to punch me. If he, if he old enough to punch me, he old enough to get hit back. But okay. let's talk about you and, and Renette. Ball, second ball, you said, I know my brother did not hit no three-year-old. That was Ray John. You did not see it. Everybody said he hit Ray but John. But you weren't there. Everybody said that you weren't there. But everybody told me. Everybody said, oh, he hit her. I said, Ray John, see, everybody was around okay, there. Okay, well, let's, all kinds well, let's of get stories. off of Adam. Let's get off, let's get off your brother. Okay? But it's, you talk about, about y'all Adam right now. Y'all know it's about y'all. It's about the two of you. I want, uh, Renee, look at Julie and tell her what it is that either either you feel bullied or you like hitting her. So talk to her about what all this violence is okay. with your relationship. When well, you say I like kidding, if I like kidding, you wouldn't be sitting here right now. Because I, I don't like you so much that I could put you in the house, but that's how much I don't like you. Well, and I do will it. tell you that every day of your life, I cannot stand you. When I see you walk, I want to just get up and just knock the mess out of you. Because we have to move, because you decide to jump. We me. have to move because, because you, you don't like me. You we, put she your hand on me. Put, she I already put. Put one person out that made them move. They ho she hollers in a window. Renee, you, oh, Renee you, you sound like the bully. Well, she lying. She's in her lying. Well, I don't, I don't like no her either. She wanted my boyfriend. Uh -huh. You can see that toy's out. I don't want her boyfriend. Oh, oh, my, my goodness. Oh, oh. She's so oh. oh. That was my boy's boyfriend. That's not go there. That's not boy's boyfriend. That was boy's boyfriend. He's been with me since July. That was boy's boyfriend. That wasn't her. She took toys, man. Whatever. He ain't okay. never liked three, but just a toy to use her part. All right, Even Renee. Like me since the day I've met him, okay? R Renee, I want Julie to look at you, and I want you to speak either from feeling as a victim or feeling as a bully yourself. I want you to talk to her about what you think y'all's problems are. And I let feel her like my brother is 11 years old, and you is 14. I don't think that you should put your hands on my brother. If he does something to you, I think you should be the mature one and come to my mom. And if my mom does not... <laughs> and if, My bro if you feel that my mom did not uh, handle it right, then you should come to me and I will handle my brother because I always handle my brother mature. Everybody comes to me about my brother because I think it's stupid that we fight over little things. I mean, if, if you feel that we should fight over something stupid, then we should talk about it because it's ignorant and I'm more mature about that. I don't think yeah, that's... Don't that. You started to fight. You were the one starting both of them. Okay? When me what started, started, what started, started? Listen, listen. Me and I used to be best friends. Best my, friends. My, other, my best friend from Crestline 
wanted to beat her up because she was messing with her cousin, messing with their cousin. Okay, so we go to walk to the store, the corner store. I didn't know that they was going to try to beat you up, and then you going back to my house because my mom and her mom and her sister, they was all at my house playing cards. We go back there, she get this current store that I wanted to beat her up. I said, Julie, you walked to the store with us there and back. They stopped you and started dogging you. You didn't say nothing. You no, were just standing there like, was like, I didn't do none of this. I didn't do none of that. And like the they, other day, my, my friend knocked the message. She had to know. Was they with was like, okay, Kisa was like, she said, so you knew about it. You told, she told you about y'all. They made a plan. They made a plan. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let's it was her. hold on a sec. I want to stop. It was her and four I other people hold on. that made wanna, a plan. Excuse me. I want us to stop and regroup a minute because I want to find out how two best friends could end up like this. Now, hold on. Hold on. We got to take a break. And listen, I'm going to bring your mothers out here too because they're so upset because one, y'all are about to get evicted because you're causing so many problems around your house, right? Can you imagine? When we come back, we're going to meet the mothers of Julie and Renee, and they say, like I said, they're facing eviction, about to get kicked out of their own homes, out of the apartment, all because of this constant fighting and bickering, all between their daughters. Now the neighbors are getting involved. We'll be right back in a minute.